Hi guys, this is Mrs. Pickard. Today we're going to go over what you need to do once you have finished revising your essay. Um, please remember, I know a couple of you have spoken up about um, the fact that it is difficult to stay attentive and focused and productive when we do not have a class meeting in Teams. I understand this, but please remember that you are still responsible and should be accountable for completing your work. Um, just a reminder, this writing resource documents folder has everything that you need to write this essay, including the source packet, the essay structure handout, the elaboration reference sheet, um, and the revision tips that we talked about on Monday and Tuesday. Um, at this time, I'm sharing this information to show you what you need to do today. So today you should be almost finished revising your essay. Once you are done revising your essay and you have created your final draft, then you are going to go back through your essay and highlight for the following information. So just like when we did that assignment in class when you graded the other two essays using the FSA rubric, you are now going to be thinking about the FSA rubric and you might want to pull that up on your screen while you are doing this. But after you have finished revising your essay, I need you to go back through and highlight a couple different things. So you are going to highlight your thesis statement, topic sentences, and areas where you relate back to the prompt in yellow. All of these relate to PFO, which is purpose, focus, and organization. You are going to highlight your evidence from the sources in green and your elaboration in blue. In addition to highlighting your elaboration in blue, I also need for you to comment next to your elaboration. So you can either do this by adding a text box, which you can do in Word by clicking insert, text box, and then draw text box. Or you can also just type on your file in a blue font. Um, and what you are commenting, what you are labeling, is the type of elaboration that you have used. So you'll read your elaboration and determine, what purpose was my elaboration serving? Was my elaboration a summary? Was it analyzing? Did it show cause and effect? Did I provide additional information? Did I give a reason, an example, a fact, a definition? Um, and then you are going to label. So for example, maybe it was cause and effect, and you will label that in blue font next to your elaboration, okay? The last step that you are going to do is at the bottom of your paper, you'll scroll down to the bottom of your essay, and then you are going to do a self-assessment in a purple font. So in purple, you are going to provide a score for each rubric category. So for PFO, you're going to give yourself a score out of four. For evidence and elaboration, you are going to give yourself a score out of four. And for conventions of standard English, you're going to give yourself a score out of two. And then your total score will be out of 10. Again, if you're not quite sure um, what to score yourself on, this information should come directly from the FSA rubric that we talked about um, last week in class. Remember, we highlighted the different descriptors. And then next to your justification, um, next to your self-assessment, you are going to provide a brief justification. For the justification, this doesn't need to be super long, but I just want you to explain why you think you earned these scores. Okay, so you are, should be using specific terms from the rubric in order to justify why you think you earn these scores. Um, this would also be a good place to ask any questions that you still have about this process. Um, but in general, this is what I want you to work on doing. Once you are finished with this assignment, you are going to upload it to Schoology. Um, and just to show you again where that is, we are in week eight. And when you go to tasks for Friday, you will see all the way at the bottom, right here, final draft of essay. This is where you are going to upload your assignment. Um, once you have submitted everything, then you are good for this week. And I hope you have a happy Friday and a great weekend.
Thanks, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.